This isn't your typical day in the life video like you see all over YouTube. There's not going to be any long commutes, fancy office tours, or intense work schedules. I want this video to be a little different, hopefully even inspirational. As you can probably already tell from the title of this video, I'm unemployed. But I believe there's something we can learn from my experience and how I came to be unemployed. I also want to go over what I've been doing since then. My goal for this video is for you to feel inspired and hopeful, even if you're in the same position as me. So without further ado, this is the day in the life of an unemployed software engineer. Before I get into what I do on a daily basis, I first want to talk about how I came to be unemployed. It's no secret that tech companies have been laying off thousands of engineers for the past year or so. I was able to dodge these layoffs for about a year, but eventually my luck ran out. And I got the dreaded Slack message from my manager, hey, do you have time for a quick chat? At that point, I knew I was getting laid off. And lo and behold, my manager told me that they would be cutting my contract short. I had until the end of the month. Initially, my emotions were mixed, but truth be told, I was already planning on quitting anyway. Still, the whole thing came out of the blue for me. By this point, I'd survived three rounds of layoffs, so I guess it was only a matter of time. Financially speaking, I've saved up enough money, so losing my job wasn't going to put me on the street. This is why it's so important to have a financial safety net. You can save yourself so much stress and headaches down the road by just having an emergency fund. In any case, I had a several month long trip planned anyway, so that gave me something to look forward to. For those who are curious, I visited my motherland, Peru, and it was great. If you ever thought about visiting Peru, definitely put it on your bucket list. Easily one of the best trips I've ever been on. I was able to get in touch with my culture, meet extended family, make new friends, and try new things. I even did ayahuasca in the Amazon jungle. All this to say, my mindset towards my layoff has actually been pretty laid back. And it might surprise you, but I'm in no rush to find a job. So with the circumstances of my unemployment out of the way, where does that leave me? What have I been doing these past few months since my trip? Well, if I had to describe it in two words, content creation. I figured with all the spare time I had on my hands, now was the best time to pursue content creation. While growth has been slow, I was able to go from zero to almost a thousand subscribers in just a few months. In fact, at the time of this video, I'm less than 100 subs away from 1,000. So if you're a software engineer, then consider subscribing to my channel. I make educational videos on a variety of topics such as career tips, data structures and algorithms, coding interviews, and much more. So with that out of the way, what does a typical day look like for me? Well, I like to wake up in the morning and get some kind of exercise in, you know, to get the blood pumping. Usually I'll do calisthenics, but lately I've taken a liking to kettlebells. After my morning rituals are done, I'll sit down and get to work. Basically, what work is for me nowadays is brainstorming ideas, writing scripts, and filming videos. It's tough because I'm still trying to figure out the game of YouTube. Any of you who are content creators out there know how tough it can be. Content creation takes up the majority of my time, and I'm always trying to make each video the best it can be. It takes a lot of time to make videos, so if you like this one, make sure to hit the like button, it really helps the channel. Besides content creation, I'll code occasionally to keep my skills sharp. In recent years, I've been working more with React, which I enjoy. Other than that, after my work, I'll usually go on a walk, do some light reading, heck, even build a Dune Ornithopter. Pretty cool, huh? And that's the day in the life of an unemployed software engineer. But the video is not over yet. While my day to day may not be as exciting as other videos, I'm grateful that I at least have the chance to pursue a goal of mine. And while I'm fortunate enough to be able to weather the storm, I know a lot of others can't. For anyone who has been laid off recently, I feel for you. It's like having your whole world flipped upside down in an instant. This may not be much of a consolation, but what keeps me going is the saying, this too shall pass. Everything will work itself out. You won't go homeless. You will find that new job. You will pass go and collect $200. Okay, I'm just kidding about that last part. But in all seriousness, if you've been laid off recently, just take a deep breath and know this isn't the end for you. Just stay consistent with your practice and apply to jobs regularly and you'll be fine. In any case, whether you've been laid off or not, it never hurts to keep your skills sharp. 
And when it comes to interviews, lead code is king. You have to make sure that your lead code skills are in good shape. That's why I know this video can help you out, where I talk about three tips that can change the way you lead code forever. So if you've ever struggled with lead code before, then do me a favor and check this video out right now. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.